Hi, my name is Josh Hines, and I'm a senior applications engineer with Rapid3D. Today, I'm going to show you how quick and easy the workflow is to take three scans of a skull acquired with the HandyScan Black Elite from Creaform, align and merge them into a single mesh using VX Elements. So you'll see that we have three scans in our VX Elements navigation tree. I'll hide scans two and three, and the skull was placed on a granite slab, uh, scanned, and then scan two, the skull was just rotated on its side, and scan three, it was upside down. So the first thing we need to do is remove the granite slab from all of these scans. I'm going to show you this in three different ways. First of all, we have remove background, which we can use whenever we have a nice planar surface. That will automatically create a clipping plane and remove that data. Secondly, on scan two, if our object that we're interested in is not connected to the table, the facets aren't physically connected, then we can use our selection tool, which is everything connected, followed by control I to invert the selection, and then delete. And the third method would be necessary in situations where we have uh, the object we want to keep connected to the table. It's not in this case, but I'll show you what that looks like. So we would just view from along the table, and I'm going to use my polygon selection mode here, and then control I to invert and delete. So after we have all of these trimmed, I like to go back to the first scan and then click on merge scans. In order to align our scans together, we have three options. The first is target-based alignment, when we have targets on the actual part, which we don't in this situation. The second is surface best fit, and that's to align one scan to another. And the final is a global registration, when we have more than two scans, to allow them all to best fit with respect to each other. So we're going to use the surface best fit. Scan one has automatically been selected as fixed, and then the second scan is checked as the mobile scan. This is the one we're aligning to scan one at the moment. The pre-alignment can be done automatically, which is the default method. If that doesn't work, we can use the manual method. So the automatic, we just click best fit. And it'll automatically take a guess and then complete the best fit after that. You can see everything looks good here. Then we click on scan three. And in situations where we don't have enough overlap or we have a considerable difference in size of one scan to another, the automatic pre-alignment isn't going to work. So I'll show you what manual pre-alignment looks like here, although in this situation it certainly would work. So all we do is we get the two scans oriented in a similar fashion and we pick three corresponding points, just roughly corresponding. back here at the back. And then we click best fit and it completes the final best fit stage. So the final step here is to allow all three to best fit and that is the global registration step. We simply click on preview and then we can usually see a slight change in the colors and then accept and we're going to do a full merge. Now we can either do a full merge where it creates a single merged mesh from all three or we can use the alignment option, which simply applies the transformation or the alignments of scans 2 and scan 3. So there we go. Now we can delete scan 2 and scan 3. And we're left with a combination of all three. The thing that we need to do before we can export the mesh is to finalize it. Uh, for this, the default is standard. So we'll select the standard method, and then we'll also apply a resolution change. And it's going to increase the resolution to half a millimeter. I'm not going to click Apply, and then I'm simply going to click the Finalize button. This is going through and taking all the observations from all three of the scans and doing a very rigorous process to generate a, very, a nice single final mesh. Um, we're not applying any of our surface noise reduction or smoothing or any extra features to this, so, uh, but we see that we still do get a very nice mesh, which is a characteristic of uh, Creaform scanners. So after this is complete, then we can simply go File, Export, Mesh.